Hawaiian Telecom recently made a large investment to help expand its fiber network across the state. So this should mean faster, better service for Hawaii customers. Casey Lan is at the new Hawaiian Telecom facility <clears throat> in Halava. Casey. Aloha from Hawaiian Telecom's new facility here in Halava. You can see behind me these sort of mock apartment units. That's where technicians will get a pretty hands-on experience, setting up service inside somebody's home from uh, TV, Internet, uh, really all the services provided. And, of course, this is all about investing in their employees and in their service as Hawaiian Telecom works to continue its fiber expansion throughout the state. We're going to talk a little bit more big picture in just a moment with the president of Hawaiian Telecom. First, Aaron Ladera is with us today. Uh, thank you for being with us. I want you to kind of uh, show us around this area, too. Uh, you know, we have a pole climbing area we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, but tell us a little bit about what this is going to mean for the folks that you train. So what it means is that everybody gets proper training. Um, we can repeat it over and over. Like what we have right behind me is uh, the maintenance copper splicing booths where the maintenance techs will you know, take apart cases, learn to put things back together, and we can repeat this over and over again. Um, upstairs, we have a very similar situation going on with the copper as, as well as fiber so we can shoot trouble, they can identify it. In a, moment, uh, in a moment, we're going to be talking uh, with uh, the President Su Shin, but uh, I want to talk a little bit about also your linemen, those folks. There's a facility and area for that here as well. We have some video of some, uh, some training that you folks had had earlier. That takes a, a special kind of person. That's, that's pretty demanding, physically demanding. Oh, work. yes, yes. It's very demanding, very physical. Um, you use all the little muscles you never thought you had. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, Aaron uh, Ladera, with us, uh, training manager. Now we're going to uh, take a quick walk over here and talk a little bit with Sue Shin. She's the president uh, for Hawaiian Health Telecom. And, and this is uh, that pole area that we were talking about, Sue. Before we talk big picture here about five, um this was really an investment in your team members, uh, included not just a facility, but some new fleet vehicles, right? Absolutely. So this all represents a $15 million investment, this facility new fleet vehicles and it's really again an investment in our people the employees that are working to expand fiber out there yeah, and it's uh it's like we said demanding work and often not done uh, inside a lot of times outside in some uh, challenging elements really quickly before we go though big picture wise uh, when you talk about that expansion, where are we at, as far as the state is concerned, and especially in some of our more rural uh, neighbor island communities? Yeah, absolutely. You know, broadband access today is so incredibly essential. And so this year, we are investing more on the neighbor islands than we are on Oahu. We're at about halfway, at the halfway point for statewide fiber expansion. On the island of Lanai, we're fully fiber enabled. Top side of Molokai, we're fully fiber enabled. And by the end of this year, the entire island of Kauai will be fiber enabled. So, you know, we're incredibly proud of that, right, of that accomplishment. But really what we're proud of is our employees are, they have this genuine sense of pride and they feel a sense of kuleana around the work that we're doing around you know, connecting and empowering Hawaii. So really proud of that. Really quickly, uh, uh, timeline for the full state to be 100% fiber. So we're aiming to be fully fiber enabled by 2027, which obviously is really aggressive. Yeah. But, you know, with this incredible team, this great facility, we're going to get there. Sushin with us, president of Hawaiian Telecom. If you'd like to learn more about uh, the fiber expansion across the state or even employment opportunities, we have a link to do that at hawaiinewsnow.com. We'll send things back into the studio for now. Hmm. Thanks, Casey. Yeah, awesome.